Hi there, Alexis here. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and a review of the Diva Ring Light Nebula and seeing what features differentiates the Nebula from the other ring lights that the Diva Ring Light brand has to offer. I have been using their Supernova Ring Light for around four years now. I've been using it since my sophomore year of college when I first got into content creation and doing beauty tutorials and videos, whether it was live streaming or I was doing recorded videos. Um, I mainly work with the Supernova with a desk tripod setup. I also have the Supernova on a tall stand for freelancing when I am working with clients in my beauty studio space or when I am traveling so that I always have good lighting no matter where I'm at. So with that being said, we're going to jump right into this review. So I'm currently right now on the divaringlight.com website. There's also the DVE store, DVE store.com. I'm going to attach it right on here. Uh, they, that is the company that sells and ships out the Diva Ring Lights. Uh, fun fact, they are actually based out of Everett, Washington. So that is actually not too far from my house. The Diva Ring Light brand, they have the Novas, the Supernovas, and they have the Nebula. When you go on the Diva Ring Light site, you, what you'll see is you'll see a ring light tab. You'll see two different categories. You'll see fluorescent and LED. The Nova and the Supernova will come up under the uh, fluorescent category and the Nebula actually comes up underneath of the LED category. So for the product description of the Diva Ring Light Nebula itself, it is a perfect studio field edition for photographers and videographers. The professional quality LED light provides soft, nearly shadowless uh, illumination. It makes your subject's face appear to have a fresh, clean look. It comes equipped with a dimming feature that helps control your light source. That is one thing that I do love about ring lights is the dimmable features. Not all ring lights have a dimmable feature. There's a diffusion cloth, cloth that straps around the ring light itself and it creates a beautiful all over look like when taking pictures of even makeup looks, whether it's of myself or with clients, it, the light's not so harsh on the face. So I love that about um, the diffusion cloth, um, the quality construction. So I love how these ring lights have been constructed. I travel with these all over the place, especially when I do freelance for my makeup artistry business, whether I'm going to work with a, a bridal client or I am going on set for like a location. Sometimes I don't even um, disassemble it. I just take it with a stand and I um, shorten up the stand and then I'll um, lengthen it later too when I'm putting everything together. And I've never had a single issue, especially over my past like four years of using the um, ring lights itself. And I've traveled to and from college back home and with my ring lights. The long life of the LED uh, Nebula, it claims to have uh, bulbs that last longer than any fluorescent or incandescent bulb. LEDs can last approximately 50,000 hours, so you don't really have to worry about it going out so fast, which is uh, really great. Easy to transport, and it's virtually heat free. Is that while fluorescent lights can generate very little heat, um, LED bulbs are nearly heat free, even with the fluorescence. The, the supernova is how it can produce some heat, but like even for me, um, I don't really notice that problem a lot unless I have like my umbrella lights all in here and even more lights around me. That's when I may notice a little bit of a heat increase, but um, nothing that I've been too concerned about. So those are some of the facts and the features about the Nebula that's on the site. So without further ado, we're going to unbox the Nebula ring lights. So this is the Nebula. Um, this is the box that it comes in. We really take into consideration the packaging itself. So this is like bubble wrapped and when it ships out, it's in a box that goes over all this. And then this is the light itself. Open this right up. So in this box is the Nebula ring light stand right here or again a ring light stand will be different from the tripod itself the ring light stand does not have a mount to it for your phone or for your camera so when you're having it stand tall um, on a ring light stand essentially it'll kind of look like this um, with the ring light itself this is the supernova so it's gonna look a little bit different than the nebula especially the features that they had to offer but it's gonna be mounted on to the stand like this you can adjust it, especially the gooseneck, but you guys will see here in a second.
So this is the Diva Ring Light Nebula. You can see the diffusion cloth right here. With the cloth, you can take it on and off. But this is the LED lights. So I'm gonna show you kind of the difference between this versus the fluorescent bulbs here in a second. But it pretty much looks, from the front of it, very similar to the Supernova. But on the back, the controls are different. And then in this box, small little box is gonna have an assembly instructions in here. This uh, instructions does have some do's and don'ts. You can see at the top some don'ts. There is one major don't. You don't wanna unscrew this screw right here. So don't unscrew that. But we're going to assemble this nebula onto a tall ring light stand. So in the box, you're gonna also have four different items aside from the instructions. You're gonna have a Z bracket. This literally looks like a Z. Uh, there is the gooseneck. I use the gooseneck um, more than the Z bracket. Um, I really ever use the Z bracket, but the gooseneck I'll use for when I'm using just the ring light stand itself and I'm not needing to mount a um, phone or camera to like a tripod. So this is what allows that flexibility on the ring lights. Um, when you're moving it around. This is also the switching adapter. And then I'm pretty sure that this is the power cord. This is the ring light stand. Again, these are separate. There's the ring light stands. And then there's the desk tripod and the tall tripod that can stand from the ground. You're just gonna unscrew that, push it down. I'm in cosmetology school right now and we use tripods for mannequin heads. So when I saw that we were using that, I like just busted it out and everyone's like looking at me like, how did you do that? I was like, I use tripods all the time. Um, so I'm just going to, what I did was I just unscrewed this top part up here. Just move this up. So you can use these and unscrew these and position them higher. Just make sure you don't loosen them too much because these will come off and if you lose them, <laughs> that's not fun. The gooseneck. So this is the gooseneck. This is what's going to attach the bottom of the nebula. There also comes with some screws for the ring light. So next, to put the ring light on the, and screw this part right here, I'm gonna take off this little piece right here. So I'm gonna turn the ring light on and we're going to increase the amount of light that's on here from zero to 100. Okay, that's a lot of light. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it looks like even on me as this is filming and then close up. This is without any light in the room to the highest amount. Oh my gosh, this is so much light. I'm gonna show you the difference between this versus the supernova. And I think both of these Diva Ring lights have their own unique features about it, especially with the amount of light that comes through, as well as the way that it photographs and films like the skin, especially if you're doing like close-up photography. Okay, I'm gonna take this off my phone so you guys can see. Even. And how it captures the skin. I have not done any filming or photos with this just yet. So Nebula. a lot brighter. Okay, I'm gonna show you the difference between this and then with Supernova. Do you see how it just has a little bit of a softer finish to it? 
So I'm gonna put these videos kind of side by side so you guys can see too as well. So again, here's the Nebula and the Supernova, both really great lights. They have their own unique features to it. So the back of them, how they differ from each other. The dimmer on the Supernova is down here. And the dimmer on the back of the Nebula is back here. This is the Nebula. Highest amount, lowest amount. Again, you can see the bulbs here, the LED bulbs. And then the fluorescent bulb. So I'm gonna increase the amount of light here. This is the highest it goes on this one. And this is the highest that it goes on this one. I feel like this is brighter. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn both of these off. Now I'm gonna switch out to filming on here for the rest of the video for the nebula. Um, and it's going to take place of the supernova and my desk tripod so you can kind of see what the desk tripod looks like with the supernova. But I love, I love the desk tripod. If you're looking for, to film from like small spaces and just to film from like your desk space and you're working with like a phone or a camera, get a desk tripod, it's amazing. But if you are doing any type of like artistry, makeup, photography, um, that you don't need to have like a mount to it or you're doing hair and you just need to take a picture right through the ring light itself, then this, this is perfect for you then. So we're going to move on to filming with this. So this is what the desk tripods look like. So they have these small little tripod stands, so tripod, three little legs. Um, you've got the ring light attached to the tripod. It's easy to assemble. You can screw your camera onto the top of here, screw it on because you're gonna have a little screw on option on the bottom of your camera, or you can get a little phone mount for your phone. Um, I prefer to use one, I know, uh, Diva Ring Light does sell one as well as the DVE store. Um, you can put it in portrait mode or you can put it in landscape mode too as well to flip it around. So I love the desk tripod. So that is it. That is my unboxing of the Diva Ring Light Nebula and some of the key features that have been listed on the site as well as my thoughts on those features. I feel like the nebula has a lot of light to it. Supernova might be a little bit easier to film, especially in front of it for a long period of time. This gives a lot of light. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, I talked to a DVE store employee. They said that for product photos, this one is really, really great um, because the amount of light that it projects and it just has a really crisp amount of light. And one more thought on the nebula's LED light system. If you are a working makeup artist, lash artist, hairstylist, someone who's working within the beauty industry, content creator, photographer, the list goes on. If you work in an area that is very poorly lit, especially if there's no natural lighting to very little natural lighting, or if you go and work off of your normal location, you may not know what the light setup might be there or the amount of natural light you may be able to work with. So having a ring light with you, especially a nebula that does produce the amount of light that it does would be a really great option for you. So I'm excited to see how this will photograph with my uh, makeup looks I do with my iPhone as well as even the videos that I do. So I'll do my best to disclose that in the descriptions of photos or videos that I do, what ring light I'm using. So if you're thinking of adding a ring light at checkout at the Diva Ring Light uh, site or at the DVE store, be sure to include a Lexus 5. I actually reached out to the DVE store and the Diva Ring Light brand three, four years ago when I was starting to get so many questions from people like, what are you using? What ring light is that? How is your photos and videos such high quality and you're doing it from your phone? How are you able to do it at 10, 11 o'clock at night? Um, especially when there was no natural light during the day after I was done playing college softball and done with my homework, I would film and do my photos and videos. So I just reached out to them and I said, can we help people save on getting them a coupon code for their ring light purchases or any other purchases that they make through the Diva Ring Light brand or DV store and they hooked us up. So use a Lexus 5 at checkout. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments below, message me, or reach out to the Diva Ring Light brand themselves too as well and go and check out their site and be sure to connect with me on my socials so that you do not miss out on any future tutorials, whether it comes to makeup, hair, any content on media, content creation, 
inspiration as well as things that inspire me, motivate me, and hopefully can inspire and motivate you too as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!